There it is. I'm in the pain cave, AKA the Pez HQ office. Got my computer rolling there. I'm rolling on my Zwift Hub trainer. I've been on the platform about five or six times now. First time in my life, I'm a brand new Zwifter. I've just finished going through an exercise here and setting up the new trainer and getting it connected and getting into the game, which actually didn't take very long at all. They've been talking about at Zwift how easy it is for people to get onto the platform. So they've come out with their own trainer, connects really easily to the game. I've got a short video on how I put the whole thing together and I got connected. Watch that. I'm gonna do a workout. I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, it's time to unbox this Swift Hub trainer. Let's go. That's a bubble wrap in there. Good protection. All right, bubble wrap out. Now we're ready to pull the whole thing out of the box. Let's see what we've got here. All right. Nuts and bolts, one of the mounting arms right there. On the other side, we've got the other mounting arm. We've got a bag with three cords in it. North American plug, a European plug, and UK plug. Quick release skewer and a wrench. These are the cards that also function as measuring sticks that we use to determine the spacing when we mount our bike onto the trainer. There's our power block. And finally, here we go. Ooh. There she blows. Okay, yeah, this is a heavy trainer. Let's get busy putting this thing together. Well, I already like how easy this is going because I basically just opened this app on this on my phone. It's already telling me what to do. Here's the setup guide. So look, I can A, explore Zwift Hub features. There's a pro tip um, bike axle guide, but video guides, look at this. I love this. Intro to my Zwift Hub. Video one of four, good, there's only four. That's, you know, I can totally manage that. Unboxing the hub, there we go. Assembling the Zwift Hub. Mounting your bike on the Zwift Hub. Updating firmware and pairing your Zwift Hub. And then we get going, additional Zwift Hub guides and help. Swapping your cassette, replacing the free hub body, fixing connections. Ooh, I like the looks of this. Subscribe. All right, let's get rolling. Next up, we're gonna attach the legs, here they are, right here, to the body of the Zwift Hub trainer. Let's get started with the small one because I've got the orange end right here close by. It's gonna match up. This is pretty smart the way they've done this. This little plastic washer here to go on to the end of the bolt like this. I'm just gonna keep the creaking to a minimum. Okay, we're gonna match up the blue foot to the blue side. Oh yeah, there it is. This thing has came together pretty easily. So next step, we're gonna get on the floor and continue our hookup and mounting of the bike. Next step is I'm gonna be removing the rear wheel from the bike. I'm gonna be using this Allen key to get that through axle out. Then we're gonna mount it onto the Zwift hub trainer. Our next step is going to be figuring out the width of our dropouts. We're going to be using this handy dandy card that comes in the box. So there are two dropout widths we're going to be exploring to see which one is ours. 142 mils or 148 mils. All you got to do is slide this card in between your dropouts like this. And we can kind of see right here that I'm not actually inside the, the dropout portion here yet. But I'm already at the 142, so that means I'm going to try it out here on this further side, on the 148 side. And as I line this thing up between 
this actual part of my dropout and this other part of the actual part of my dropout where my axle connects, I'm at 148 mils with. So that means I'm going to follow the instructions here. I'm going to set this up according to what they're telling me to do. It's going to be pretty easy. So let's now get down and let's do that. One thing I really like about the way this hub is presented is the easy setup. So they've kind of thought of everything. Included in the box is the quick start guide. It's an actual booklet that's easy to follow. It's color coded, green and pink. The green pages are for the through axle insertion. And there you go, it's already telling me what I have to do in terms of figuring out the steps. So I, so I just flip through the book to the green pages and it gives me complete instructions on how to measure my dropouts for both kinds of axles and what I've got to do. So, so our next step is we've got to remove this part of the axle and replace it with this piece for the through axle adaptation. Let's do that. I come out, bring out the wrench, and I try and get it on here. But the problem is right now I just discovered I've got a 12 speed SRAM cassette which came with the unit because that's what I spec'd. But there's not enough purchase left on the the spacer for me to get this wrench on. So I solved this problem by grabbing some nice big vice grips here. I just reefed on it like this and I got a grip on it. I was able to turn it and it came out like this. So you may have this problem. It's totally solvable at home. There, that came out. Then we're putting this one in. Now we're on to the other side of the hub unit right here. I've got to put the spacer in and the other side here for the through axle. So I've got it on the card right here and we're going to take it off the card and we're going to pop it in. Here we go. There it is. I follow the instructions on the card right here and I've got 148 mil space. We figured that out already. So that means this green section has to be sticking on the outside. So it goes in like that. Does not, it can go in like that if, if I've got the 142 mil gap on my bike, but I don't, I've got the 148. That goes in like that. And now we are ready to mount the bike onto the hub trainer. Next step, I'm gonna grab this bike. We're gonna put it onto the hub trainer. One thing I discovered is that I'd mismeasured the distance between my dropouts. So I actually originally put the spacer in the wrong, the wrong way, but that was pretty apparent when I was putting the bike on, you could see that. So I really just solved it immediately. I just took the spacer, I flipped it around and the bike went straight on and uh, is all set. All right, I've got the bike. Here it is, it's mounted onto the hub unit. There it is. Next thing I'm doing is connecting the power. So I'm gonna be connecting this power brick, which plugs into a little cable down here at the bottom with one of these three power cords. As I said, they've got three cords in here. One's for North America, one's for Europe, one's for the UK. There's my North American cable right there. This fits into the end of the unit like this. So underneath the unit, you can see this little power cord right here. This is where we connect the other end of this right into here, just like that. All right, now we're ready for more power. One more thing, now that I've got power in here, how do I know I've got power running to the unit? Well, check out this little blue light that's flashing right there. That tells me that the unit is ready, it's juiced up. It's actually looking for a Bluetooth connection. So we're ready to start pairing it and get going. Next step is going to be connecting the whole thing to my screen up there. See if I can get Zwifting. All right, so we have the Zwift Hub Trainers built. We put it together. We put the bike onto the Zwift Hub Trainer. We've connected the power. So the unit is now powered up and ready to go. 
our next step is going to be connecting my uh, computer, my Mac here, down to the hub trainer so they talk to each other so I can actually get onto Zwift and start Zwifting. So here's how we do that. We open up our Zwift game right here. I've already downloaded it. You've got to download it off the internet, put it on your machine, uh, create an account, which I have already done, I can tell, because my name says it right there. It's ready for me to get started. Let's go. Here we go. We're going to get started. We turn this on and ooh, I mean, it's an immersive experience as big as your screen can manage. All right, there we go. It tells you right away. Login was successful. Let's get ready to ride. Now, here's what I'm looking at. My paired devices that I've got. We have got our power source. This is showing us all the connected devices that are going to come up here. We've got, oh, there we go. It's setting up Zwift. It looks like it's go ahead and... and Ooh, this is fun. I get to customize my avatar. All right, let's do this. There you go. I can change all these different hairstyles. Is that a fade? Uh, I'm gonna go with that one right there. Look at all these man styles here. We've, where's just the scruffy look? Customize your bike. Finish. And there you go. I've already been welcome to Watopia. And it's time to start pedaling. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna jump on and start pedaling. Well, there I am. Pedaling away. Easy 47 watts, there's my RPM up there. I'm gonna tell you something, <laughs> that was way easier than I actually thought it was gonna be. It paired up right away with the hub trainer down on my computer. My computer, they just started talking to each other right away and all of a sudden it takes me right into the game and I'm ready to start going. So here I am, I'm now ready to go. So that was overall, I would have to say, pretty easy to get this thing set up. And really, that's the heavy lifting is behind me. So now I can start Zwifting and now I can get onto some, some training for the season ahead. All right, I'll come back to you with some information on that, but uh, I think it's time for me to go put on some shoes and start pedaling. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click and subscribe if you're down there. Take care, keep the rubber side down and enjoy your training.